We all know that everything around us, and even ourselves, are made up of little things called atoms. And atoms themselves are made up of smaller particles. Neutron, proton, and electron. We all know that atoms are small, but we really don't know how small it is. You're probably just like me and don't know how small an atom actually is. So stay with us and let's go see how small an atom actually is. So let's start with an orange. How many atoms are inside one orange? If we want to mention every single atom in an orange, it's going to take a long time and it's going to get really complicated. Let's just imagine in a size of an orange, we only have hydrogen atoms. Let us go inside this thing. Let's air up one of these atoms inside the orange and make it a size of a small cherry. Here we have a size comparison. So if one atom of an orange is the size of a small cherry, so how big would the orange be? Would it be a size of a car? Size of a house? Or a size of a city? None of these are correct. The orange in that case has to be the size of planet Earth. If we paid attention a little, we notice how small an atom actually is. Meaning, if you took an atom inside an orange and pumped it up into a small cherry, the orange would have to be the size of Earth. So we kind of have an idea how small an atom is. But let's go inside one of these atoms. In the middle of the atom, there's a nucleus where the neutron and proton live. And on the outer side, there's the electrons. So what is the size of the nucleus? If you look at the atom at the size of a small cherry, how big would the nucleus be? If you read about atoms in school, you've probably seen this photo before, where the nucleus is a small dot in the middle. But the size you see in this picture is extremely wrong. Let's get back to that atom that is size of a cherry. Let's just imagine the cherry doesn't have a seed. We cut it in half. Imagine it's an atom and we are looking for a nucleus. If the atom is the size of a cherry, you can't even see the nucleus. Meaning the nucleus is that small. We have to find that nucleus. Let's pump the size of this atom into a two-story house. Let's go inside the atom and see if we can find the nucleus. If the atom is the size of a house, you could barely see the nucleus. But let's turn this atom size into the size of a football field. Let's see how big that nucleus is. In this case, it would be the size of a marble. The size of the atom itself is the size of a football field. Just imagine how small the nucleus actually is. We first said an atom has proton, neutron, and electron. And the proton and neutron live in the nucleus. And you know another cool part? Most of the mass of an atom is the nucleus. And even compared to the size of an atom, it's nothing. So where are the electrons? They're pretty much on the edge of the atom. So let me see. This small nucleus in the middle and the electrons that are in the outermost layer. So what's the rest of the atom? You might not believe it, but that space is all empty. A dark, empty space. You saw the size of an atom and the nucleus, but most of this is empty space. And most of the mass is that little nucleus. And a little bit of the mass is the electrons on the outside. So what's the density of this nucleus? 
If we want to explain it with math, it's going to take a long time and it's extremely complicated. And that is why we're going to use a box. We have a box with the size of 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And let's go grab all the nucleuses from an atom from a car that weighs around 2 tons. So if we grab all the nucleus of the atoms of a car and pour it inside this box, how many cars will we need to fill this box up? And remember, the box is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. So it's a pretty small box. But we want to fill this box with car atom nuclei. How many cars will we need to fill this box? One, two, ten? Remember, the car weighs 2 tons. 50. Don't wear yourself out. If we want to fill this box with the nuclei of a car, we're gonna need 6.2 billion cars. And we can then fill this box up with the nuclei of these cars. This shows us how much empty space an atom has. Even though the atom itself is extremely small, the nucleus is even smaller. They call this section of an atom, empty space. Doesn't that seem familiar? Have you heard of somewhere where it's mostly empty space? A lot of people say an atom is kind of like the universe, and the universe, most of it is empty space. A lot of people say the universe is ginormous, and we're so small. But when we look at these atoms, we feel big. We realize we're not that small either. Dark matter and dark energy make up 95% of space. You could say the universe is kind of like the atom. Some small particles and mostly empty space. What's the relation between these two? The empty space in an atom or the dark energy and matter of the universe? The biggest thing we know and the smallest thing we know have a lot of similarities, meaning the universe and an atom. Is the universe a single atom? Are we living inside one atom? Let me know what you guys think.